Okay, so sometimes if I do a voiceover, I can be a little more, more concentrated. I'm going to show you guys using your 3D foundation for the first time with a double decker compact. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the darkest color in my compact, <clears throat> which is the contour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be shaping my face with it. Um, contours are very flexible for which colors will work for you. I like to have a really olive toned contour. I'm going to use a small end of my detail brush to really be strategic about where I place the contour. I'm going to put it up below my cheekbones to carve them out, but I want to give myself a little facelift as I sculpt my face. So I'm going to be going pretty high on my, my cheekbones to where I'm really creating a shape. I'm also going to add a shadow underneath my lips and prime my lips with my lip conditioner, which is also in my compact. And then this brush is double ended. So I'm just going to flip it over to the bigger end of the brush and grab my highlight color. This is my darker of my two highlight colors. And so I use this to smooth out my skin tone. Um, it's going to hide any imperfections, uh, really cancel out the discoloration underneath my eyes, hide any acne scarring. I do have a lot of acne scars along my jawbone and around my mouth is has some discoloration. I'm using that same color to come up between my eyebrows and get rid of any redness. And basically, I'm just going up to meet where I put my contour. So it's in pieces. It's like a puzzle that goes together. Um, I put the contour where I want it, and then I fill in all the gaps with my highlight color. There's no hard, fast rule of how you apply these colors, but basically, you're just going to have the two pieces on your face. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm going to blend the two creams together. Because they're both creams, and they're sitting next to each other you really don't have to blend it a whole lot but the nice thing is is that you can keep blending until it looks how you want it to look um there is no rules and if you over blend anything to where you feel like it just like melts into nothing it's totally okay to go back get a little bit more color and apply it um then I like to put my blush on the apples of my cheeks I do that cheesy little smile right there to where my the cheeks get a little bit fatter so that I know exactly where to put my blush. Um, and then I just put those on and I use it as another opportunity to kind of check for things that need to be blended. And I like to use just the tiniest bit of my blush color and my illuminator to add just a little bit of like a custom lip color. It's always really fun. So this is my illuminator again. This is the Angel Illuminator. And I like to top my cheeks with it. And again, blend my cheeks one more time. I like to just blend as I go so I know exactly what I'm working with the whole time. Then I'm going to go to the bottom half of my compact. In there, I've got all my favorite eyeshadows, but this is my absolute favorite eyeshadow. This is Trust Eyeshadow. I'm going to use the line brush to use it to fill in my brows, but I also use it as eyeshadow almost every single day. Um, and if you want to talk about an, a brow color that is going to last you forever and ever, guys, I'm only tapping my brush into the brow color, maybe one or two little tiny taps, and that's enough product to fill in my whole brow. Um, I like to focus on the bottom parts of my brow and then filling in that upper arch. And then really after that, I'm just moving the color around to fill in my whole brow area. And then I flip my brush over to the bristle end, the spoolie end, and brush it all out. And guys, as I'm going along, I always see little places that I can fix and blend some more. Um, and then just keep checking. Just keep checking. Then I'm going to do my favorite eyeshadow look. This is so easy. I just get some You Complete Me and I wash it. It's called a wash when you just swishy swash it all over your lid like that. I just wash the You Complete Me all over my lid like that. Then I flip my brush over to the small end and get some Sabrina. Sabrina is the best selling eyeshadow. And I just put it on the inner corner of my eye and along my lashes. It really opens up my eyes and has it bright in the center. And then there's my trust eyeshadow, my favorite. I brush a little along my bottom lash line so it looks nice and soft. Guys, I slept on using Stay Spray for so long, but I love it. It makes my makeup stay so good and gives me a really, really pretty dewy finish that I just really love. And guys, that's your whole face in one compact, and it still looks like you. All right, if you have any questions, reach out to your artist.